When the Ukrainian government came up with an idea to build a solar farm in Chernobyl, there was some doubt as to whether the project would spur the enthusiasm of investors. But more than 50 companies submitted applications to Ukraine's Minister of Ecology. Today, almost a year after we have started the work, I can announce the first private investment project working in the Chernobyl zone to build a small solar energy plant. Semerak says the first private investment in the Chernobyl solar farm is about $1.1 million, enough to build a power plant with the capacity of 1.5 megawatts. The investor, a Ukrainian-German company, has already implemented similar projects in Belarus regions, which had suffered from the Chernobyl disaster. The appearance of the first, albeit small, power plant evidences that the project is alive and may be followed by powerful investors who are more inert and less mobile. Domestic and foreign companies, small companies and energy giants are among those who have expressed interest in constructing the solar farm in the exclusion zone. When it is built out, the solar park is expected to produce half the power that was produced by Chernobyl's nuclear plant after it went online 40 years ago. We have received over 50 applications from companies of various sizes. Cumulatively, those would be enough to produce 2.5 gigawatts of power, which would be 2,500 megawatts. This is comparable to the output by two units of a nuclear power plant. This is about half the capacity which the Chernobyl power plant had before the disaster. Semerak says the Chernobyl zone has attracted investors because of its vast land resources and economic incentives. The government recently lowered the cost of rent and streamlined renting procedures. Another powerful driver for investors is the availability of infrastructure, the power grids, which service the Chernobyl power plant prior to the nuclear disaster. In reality, for the last 30 years, the Chernobyl zone has been a black hole for finance of Ukrainian budget and international donors. A lot of money had to be spent to eliminate the consequences of the disaster. We want to change the perception of the Chernobyl zone, the exclusion zone, from the zone of disasters to the area where changes are happening and the development is ongoing. We want to gradually put this area to use. Construction on the first solar farm should be completed in May of this year. For reporter Oksana Ligostova in Kiev, I'm Steve Reddish, VOA News.